believe it or not, wrap is the number one recycled material in the world, more than any other material that's being recycled in any facet of industry. And in Texas, 23% of our mix is wrap, about 2 million tons. And that's, and that's just back into hot mix. One of the key questions is when we talk about high wrap, and that's part of the name of the project, is mixes with high wrap content. What does that mean? What is high wrap? When we first started to talk about it, uh, the ideas were 40, 50 percent wrap. Those are high wrap content mixes. Now we don't think that that number uh, is that high. I think we're thinking 35 percent is probably as high as we want to go without having detrimental effects on the mix. One of the other aspects of the project, how we manage the wrap stockpiles. And to me, it goes back to a quote from Don Brock, who said that we have to start treating our roads as assets, not consumables that we just use up and throw away. And once we change our mindset about that, I think we look at that material in a different way and we start to take care of it because we know we can use it again. And that has led us to a lot of best practice management techniques to be able to utilize that material better. Part of this project was to develop a uh, list of best practices. Some of those things were, you know, like to eliminate contamination. Make sure you look for those things that can contaminate your stockpiles. A couple other things are make sure you keep materials separate. Different wrap stockpiles are different. They're different aggregate, they're different asphalt, they're different asphalt content. If you can keep those separate and know what they are, then you can utilize them better back into mixes make sure that you mix your materials before you process. Another thing is don't over crush the material. We, we strongly encourage fractionating and that means breaking that wrap back into its original size and we call that black rock now. So um, 10 years ago we didn't encourage fractionating the material so we had a lot of variability in our mixes uh, because the gradation was always moving around, the AC content was always up and down, and so we never had consistency, and that discouraged people from wanting to use wrap. Now, we encourage fractionation, we break it down into fine, medium, and coarse size materials, then we can control that at the hot mix plant back into the mix and get a lot more, uh, a lot better quality control. And then you want to properly store the materials. You want to put it somewhere that's dry, that can drain water from the stockpile, because every time you add moisture, that's just that's more work, that's more effort to get that material dried back out. It drains, it starts to segregate on you in the stockpile. So uh, how you handle and how you store the materials is important as well. Part of this project is to look at these mixes in a balanced mix design format and that's something different than how we design our mixes. Uh, a balanced mix design means we're going to look at rutting with the Hamburg wheel tracking test, we're going to look at cracking with our overlay test and we want something that's going to meet both of those uh, test or performance criteria and be somewhere in the middle and so that's kind of how we determine what that optimum asphalt content and the amount of recycled material that we're going to allow in the, in the mix.